Welcome back, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am getting ready to pack up for another camping trip in which I will be utilizing my latest addition to the Tacoma, my 23-0 Armadillo A2 rooftop tent. And the A stands for aluminum hard shell. Now, in this video, we will be going over setup and I'll take you through some of the ins and outs of this particular rooftop tent from 23-0. Now, this being my first rooftop tent, I am looking forward to setting it up and actually sleeping in it to really get a feel for what other additions I may need to either include or modify moving forward. So, stay tuned for that and let's get into it. All right, so here I am. I have the Armadillo A2. It's a two-person. There is a uh, four-person version of this, but here we're just going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up. Make sure you have proper camping shoe attire with your camo Crocs. Now the cool thing with this is that your rods are color coordinated, red for your front and black for your windows. And it's done. All right, here we are in Dixie National Forest. We are at Duck Creek Campground. It's our second night here, and I wanted to kind of go over some of the features of the 23-0 Armadillo A rooftop tent. Now you've already seen me open it up with the Rainfly. This is a little bit di different configuration. I have the Rainfly up, which gives us a little bit of access to the rooftop vent. But I'm going to start off as to why we chose to go with the aluminum hard shell. A lot of the features are it's pretty sturdy over ABS, but we also it also comes with a couple of racks. 
So there's potential to mount other options on top of this without worrying about uh, some weight limits that the ABS plastic might have. So we're thinking of possibly doing solar panels on here or a, a different kind of rack setup. So we'll see along down the future. As we kind of move across here, one of the uh, really big aspects of the side of the tent you can see is this massive side window. I like the fact that this is a little bit oversized versus some of the other models. It really allows for a lot more airflow. It gives you a little bit more scenic viewing when you're out when you're inside the tent. Now, as you can see, it also has kind of this nice olive green color to it, which also kind of helps it stand out. And then I also like the zippers have the orange highlights so you can easily recognize them when you go to open them up. Now as we walk around to the front, you pretty much have your standard rooftop tent ladder. And 230 offers a couple of accessory bags as well. One for shoes, and then this one here is just an accessory pouch for other items, whatever you kind of see fit. And then they also give you a ladder cover. So when you put it away, you're not scratching up the underside of the tent or even tearing up the uh, soft aspects once it's all put away. So let's go ahead and climb on in. And you can see just how easy it is to unzip these. Look at this huge window. All right, so as you come in, you can see how much headroom I have at the sleeping area. So I've got plenty of headroom here to sit up. You have the, hard, the back of the hard aluminum shell, which is nicely quilted. And it also allows you quite a bit of space up towards the head. As you can see, we actually have a duffel bag up here with our clothes. We have our pillows. Uh, we have our sleeping bag, blanket, and after sleeping in this, it was very, it was actually very comfortable with the mattress that it comes with. We might think about adding uh, an inflatable air mattress, kind of just a thinner one, just to help a little bit. But overall, the sleep quality was nice. As you can see, we have our skylight, which opens up. And offers plenty of airflow up through the top. Now the uh, the rainfly does not offer access like this, so if you have the rainfly on, you won't be able to access the top of the tent like uh, like I have it configured now. The other cool thing with the material that uh, 230 has used is they call it a light suppression technology. So even when the sun's up. Not a lot of light gets in here. And I'll show you kind of how dark it can get in here. And I'll just leave this side window open. But as you can see, the only light that's coming in is from the open window that I have. So the light suppression technology works really well. So if you like to sleep in on your camping trips, this is actually a really cool option. The other aspect that it offers is an interior LED light with its own control wire. You just hook it up to a little battery pack and you have several options so you have power on it'll turn white and then it goes to a softer white and then to a yellow and you have a dimmer option on here as well all right just getting back from the trip hope you did enjoy that video of just kind of the ins and outs of the 230 armadillo a2 if you have experience with a rooftop tent and have any tips on how to make the experience a little bit more comfortable please let me know down in the comment section below and if you have any other questions 
about this particular rooftop tent, be sure to leave those down in the comment section below as well. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. And you know what? I really would like to catch up to a fellow YouTuber, Aang, who's on his run to a million subscribers. So let's see if we can at least catch up to Aang, you know, at that 4,000 subscriber mark. Maybe even, uh, maybe even surpass him a little bit. Just a little friendly challenge out there to my fellow YouTuber doing his thing. And we'll catch you in the next video. Perfect. Peace.